fixture on American television, many restaurants in the Chicago area, and Chef Bobby Oviviani. Good to have you back, my friends. It's good to be back. Always good to good see to you. Good to be back. Eight years ago, you were here. Yes. Too long. Never again. Promise. I hope never <laughs> that long again. It's yes. good to have you back, sir. It's great to uh, be back. Your line is all designed just for QVC. Is yes. That right? Only with you guys. Nowhere else you can find. Only here at QVC. Well, you know, we previewed your chopper off the top of the show, and already over 100 are gone. Fantastic. Many people are looking at this and saying, you know what, I need to do quick jobs. I need to do uh, easy jobs. This chopper seems like a great choice because your bowl is where this story begins. This bowl is stainless steel. Stainless steel, uh, dishwasher safe, un unbeatable, basically. It will last you f forever, really. The, the, the best part about this is that it's very versatile. Right. Ease of use and versatility. I'm a busy guy. I cook for my family. I run a lot of restaurants. With these two, you can do so many different things. From vinaigrette to seasoning, in this case... And this is five cup capacity. Yes, absolutely. And there are four blades inside. Four blades, which is better than two, because two doesn't scrape the side very much. In this case, I'm doing some bruschetta, salsa, one-stop wonder, everything inside. Super easy to manage. Look at that. Look at this. It's, it's done. It's you done, and it's quiet, Chef. Very quiet. Look, at, look how powerful this is. Look and at that's that. the beauty of four blades, because if there had been two blades in there, that would be half done, right? Absolutely. You would probably have to run it longer for the two blades to catch up and do what four can do at one time. I will tell you, we're already getting busy, and everyone is grabbing colors, and you're going to notice that Fabio has a family of colors. Yes. So you're going to be seeing more we of have. these colors as he brings more items to QVC. We have many. So we have this for you in the stone gray. Fewer than a thousand. This one is called Sage 980. The one in the middle is called Blue. Uh, 1200 in the blue. Here's Terracotta. 800 in the Terracotta. And finally, I have it for you in the red. Or cranberry, rather. 800 in the cranberry. Don't miss out on these. They're going very quickly. So, Chef, how best to clean the bowl? Well, take off the, take off the blade. Yeah. Put it in the dishwasher. Put this in the dishwasher, put the top in the dishwasher, and if you have a little anything here, just wipe it out with wipe a wet clean. towel. Yeah, don't put the electric. No, the electric no, doesn't go well. What are you with making next? So, breakfast in the morning. So, inside here, I got some broccoli, some pepper, some tomato, whole eggs, little, little stir. You're making a frittata. I'm making a frittata, David. A Look how. Chunky out. frittata. Chunky frittata. Look at this, David. Put this in the oven. 10 minutes, you got the best frittata ever. One stop wonder, no chopping, no dicing, no beating Any the cheese eggs. on there, chef? Oh, yeah, of course. By the way, the <laughs> cheese that will be grated with block of cheese into these 10, 15 seconds, you got perfect grated cheese. So buy yourself a wedge of a nice Parmigiano Reggiano. Which is cheaper, too, by the way. Exactly. You save money if you and buy the whole piece. And pressure. And break it up into chunks and then just pop it in there and then Absolutely. let the chopper do the rest Absolutely. of the work. Absolutely. In this one, I use it in my restaurant to do beef tartare, oh, all kinds nice. of salsa, guacamole, seasoning, dry rubs. By the but way. But I could also use this for dips. I could Absolutely. use this. You know what? Last Almost. night, last night I was making a steak and I realized I had no steak sauce. Do you want to make a quick steak sauce? So mustard? I used a little mustard. Yep. I used, a, and I didn't have any egg either. So I used soy sauce, and I used a little sugar substitute, brown sugar substitute, and put some garlic in it, and some onion powder, and salt and pepper. I make my own mayonnaise in 15 seconds with these things. Look at this. Yeah, got a little now we got a little aioli there, right? You got the aioli, you let it go. As soon as it emulsified, you add a little bit of oil, and you can make a perfect spread for a sandwich or uh, crackers and chips and anything you want. Super quick with this, just as quick. So 500 of these are now gone. Many, many of you are looking at this and saying, you know what, this is where a bowl meets a food processor and I need this in my Correct. life. I, have, I don't want to pull out that great big food processor with all the 14 parts and the great big bowls and all that business. This is great for a family of three, four people. We'll show you now. We make pasta doing this, David. All right, so we're going to go through colors again real quickly and we'll be right back with Chef. This is graphite or stone gray. 900, then I have it in sage, 900, then the blue, 1,000 in the blue, and then I have terracotta, <clears throat> fewer than 800, and finally on the end is the cranberry, 650. What are you making next, Chef? So, you know, I'm Italian. Grew up eating a lot of pasta, make pasta. I taught America how to make pasta from scratch. And later we've got your pasta roller and cutter coming up. Correct, absolutely. Brand but new, brand new. We got the pasta roller, we got to do the dough first. So now we're opening these. 
And this you is your recipe that's online? This is recipe online. You put the eggs in here. What kind of flour is that? Well, this is all-purpose flour, a little bit of salt. You got a touch of olive oil there. You close it, and this food processor makes incredible pasta dough from scratch. Yeah. From scratch. David, look at this. I in saved a 30 salt seconds. In case you need some. Yes. And there's olive oil there if you need more. Absolutely. Now we, this is going to come all together as soon as you blend it and as soon as you mix it together. You got perfect pasta dough, and then, of course, you need a great sauce with it. In this case, we're making pesto. Now, what's inside here, Chef, before you so get to the So inside here, let me show you this. We'll lean that forward. We got olive oil. We got pine nuts, parmesan. You got basil. You got, um, you got basil. You got a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper seasoning. Beautiful. And then you just, you know, put it back in. Lock it there. And the longer it runs, the more creamy and the more liquidy the pesto becomes. Correct. Becomes. And that's it. And now you have fresh made pesto that you can put on top of your pasta, on top of your bread. And remember, if you're making fresh pasta and, and Chef has the pasta maker coming up, it's a lot easier than you might imagine. It's going to cook so quickly. Yes. It's so fresh, so nice. Yeah. It's, your wife loves fresh it's, pasta. It's, it's a, a three minutes head to toe deal. Doesn't take very long to cook, takes no time to make. These are going very quickly. A lot of you are looking at this and saying, wait a minute, this is a whole lot better than me pulling out the great big food processor. Yes. This is something easy to clean because I can pop that bowl right into the dishwasher. I can put that lid on the top rack of the dishwasher and then rinse off my blades. And then if anything gets on the power pod, you just simply wipe it clean. There are four super, super surgical sharp steel blades inside. They're going to cut up everything. Very sharp. Now, if you're making your own pico de gallo for maybe uh, the topping on a beautiful fish, just piece of grilled fish or, or grilled pork or something. Anything. Throw everything inside at the same time and let it go for 10, 15 seconds. You got perfect guacamole, pico de gallo, salsa, beef tartare, mayonnaise, anything that needs. What if I'm making just burgers for a couple of people? Yeah, just put your chunk beef in it, your seasoning, your some mustard, whatever he likes in your burger. Press it a few um, times. Done. Cheddar and bacon. I like cheddar and bacon. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a good burger. <laughs> All right, so let's talk to you about color choices. This is the stone gray, most popular, 650 left. This is sage. 800. Here is the blue, 950 in that blue, then terracotta, 700. And finally on the end, I know they look very similar, but the one on the end is a true red. It's called cranberry, actually. And with only 400 of those to go around. Now, Chef is going to stick around because he's got a few more items to share with us because you have developed four new items today. Yes, it's the 